all eyes on Kate. Royal fans treat Kate like the apple of their eye but consider Meghan like a dump. Kate, the Princess of Wales will have all eyes on her as she embraces the role traditionally linked to her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. Mr. Scobie discussed the newly proclaimed King Charles III's choice to make his eldest son Prince William and his wife Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and Cornwall the new Prince and Princess of Wales. The royal author discussed Kate taking on the legacy of her husband's mother, the late Princess Diana, who previously held the title of Princess of Wales. The royal reporter claimed that her new role was much bigger than her previous one, and that all eyes will be on the new Princess of Wales. Mr. Scobie told ABC News, well we talk about the shoes that Charles has to fill. But just as weighty as that title that Kate takes on. Of course as a Princess of Wales, she's taking on the legacy of Princess Diana. And it was very interesting that the first sort of briefing that we had from Kensington Palace yesterday, was an acknowledgement that she understands the weight that comes with that title. But she's also keen to carve out her own path. He added, and I think that path will be very much centered around the initiatives and causes she's already focused on, particularly early years childhood development. But I think for her this is a brand new chapter for her, a much bigger role and I think all eyes will be on her so it's going to be a very interesting time. The Princess of Wales has been given more responsibility within the firm as her husband now becomes next in line to the throne. King Charles announced the new royal titles during his first speech addressing the nation as king. King Charles said, Today, I am proud to create him Prince of Wales, to Wessog Cymru, the country whose title I have been so greatly privileged to bear during so much of my life and duty. With Catherine beside him, our new Prince and Princess of Wales will, I know, continue to inspire and lead our national conversations, helping to bring the marginal to the centre ground where vital help can be given. According to a royal source, the prince and princess will approach the roles in a humble and modest way. Prince William pledged to support his father in every way as he thanked his late grandmother for the guidance she had offered to Kate since before their marriage. The Prince of Wales said in a statement, My wife has had twenty years of her guidance and support. My three children have got to spend holidays with her and create memories that will last their whole lives. Queen Elizabeth II's death on Thursday marked a historic change in titles and roles within the royal family as the newly appointed King Charles III named his firstborn son, William, and wife Catherine the Prince and Princess of Wales. Their amended names also come with adjusted appointments, and marked a new era for the palace as a royal expert exclusively told Fox News Digital that after more than seven decades under Her Majesty's rule, the family is wading into uncharted territory. The way we have known William and Kate and Charles and Camilla, those are bygone days, Shannon Felton Spence, former British public affairs official, said. It is a new era. William was supposed to join Unger, United Nations General Assembly, in two weeks, but won't do that now, Spence noted. They were also supposed to do another visit to the US this year, who knows if that happens. William and Catherine, who were named the Prince and Princess of Wales by King Charles III on Friday, were previously known as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Regardless of the timing, they all have different roles now, Spence said. The Cambridges have shifted up. The things they were working on yesterday, they are no longer working on, they have new duties.
Thank you.